segment is sponsored by Oakdale Egg Farms. Well, today Chef Ryan's in the comfort of his own kitchen. Yeah, today he's making <laughs> crepes. Welcome to the kitchen, everybody. I'm very excited to show you this. Of course, using Oakdale eggs. Grew up with the family. I really like the family. They're just good down-to-earth people. But we're going to start using the cage-free, no antibiotics, no hormones, all organic eggs in these crepes. Starting off with some milk. And this is just a basic crepe batter. I mean, they vary uh, from this. You can do really anything with it if you want savory, sweet, however you want to do it. A little bit of sugar. I'm going to add in some flour. And don't worry, you can go to cookingwithchefryan.com, grab the recipe on there. And of course, the beautiful Oakdale eggs. All cage-free, no antibiotics, no hormones. Seriously, organically delicious. How's that? Add those into there along with some melted butter. And I have the butter that's melted and there's a little piece in there that's still whole but it's very soft and it's gonna blend in here beautifully. Now the thing about crepe batter is once you get it made, it needs to sit for a couple of hours. And the reason for that is the air bubbles. The air bubbles need to dissipate out. Otherwise you may have some air bubbles in the crepes, which is no big deal, honestly. But we'll just pretend like we're gonna let this sit for a little bit. So now once you get all that in there, give that a little stir, just until it comes together. It doesn't take a lot of effort to do that. And there you have it. So the crepe batter is ready to go. It's much like a pancake batter. So it's just a really thin pancake batter. You could actually use a pancake mix, your favorite pancake mix if you wanted to, but make it extra thin so that you get the thin pancakes thus is a crepe. All right, for the filling, when we come back, I'll show you how to put the filling together with ricotta cheese. I'll have some crepes made up along with some lemons in there. Oh, it's going to be so delicious with a little dusting of powdered sugar. So don't go away. When I come back, I'll show you how to finish all of this up, guys. <laughs> 